Hello there. We all are dependent on our memory, right? But our memory can trick us too sometimes. Forgetfulness is very common. But this forgetfulness sometimes puts us in a tight spot. Imagine yourself to be forgetting a part of your life completely. What will happen to you? Will it not drive you nuts and leave you confused just like Vipin Babu in our story today? Today we are going to read a story Vipin Chaudhary Laps of Memory written by Satyajit Ray. This story is about a person called Vipin Chaudhary commonly known as Vipin Babu who completely forgot a part of his life. Everybody made him believe that he had been to Ranchi but as far as he could remember he had never been to that place. What happens at the end and how did he regain his awareness about this memory lapse is a suspense till the end of the story. For now let's start reading the story but before we go on to reading the story let's know something about Satyajit Ray. Satyajit Ray was born on 2nd May 1921 in Kolkata. He was a Bengali film director, writer and illustrator. He had won many awards like Academy Honorary Award Bharat Ratna, Padma Bhushan, Dada Saheb Falke and many more. He is known for his films like Pathir Panchali, Aparajato, Charulata, Mahanagar etc. And some of his noted books are The Apu Trilogy, The Music Room, The Big City etc. He died on 23rd April 1992 at the age of 70 in Kolkata. Every Monday, on his way back from work, Bipin Chaudhary would drop in at Kali Charan's in Newmarket to buy books. Crime stories, ghost stories and thrillers, he had to buy at least five at a time to last him through the week. He lived alone, was not a good mixer. Underline the word good mixer means a person who is able to converse or to talk in a social event with others. Had a few friends and didn't like spending time in idle chat. Idle chat means unnecessary or routine conversation. Today at Kali Charan's, Bipin Babu had the feeling that someone was observing him from close quarters. Close quarters means close range or from closely. He turned round and found himself looking at a round faced, meek, looking man. Meek means quiet or humble, who now broke into a smile. I don't suppose you recognize me. Have we met before? asked Pippin Babu. The man looked greatly surprised. We met every day for a whole week. I arranged for a car to take you to Hudru Falls in 1958 in Ranchi. My name is Parimal Ghosh. Rachi? Now Bipin Babu realized that it was not he, but this man who was making a mistake. Bipin Babu had never been to Rachi. He had been at the point of going several times, but never made it. Now this line means that Bipin Babu had tried to go to Rachi several times earlier, but he could never actually go there. He smiled and said, Do you know who I am? The man raised his eyebrows, bit his tongue and said, Do I know you? Who doesn't know Bipin Chaudhary? Bipin Babu now turned towards the bookshelves and said, Still, you're making a mistake. One often does. I have never been to Rachi. The man now laughed aloud. The story begins with the description of Bipin Babu's personality. Bipin Chaudhary was a person who never liked to talk at social events. He was shy and he never believed in idle chatting. He had very few friends and he was more responsible towards his work. 
The only passion that he had was reading books and he read all kinds of books. So every Monday he had this routine that he would go to the book shop called Kali Charan in New Market, get at least five books to last him through the entire week. Now today when he was at Kali Charan's shop, he could understand that someone was closely observing him. When he looked around, he saw a young man who started to smile at him. Bipin Babu was confused, but he didn't recognize the man. The man came forward and introduced himself and he told that his name was Parimal Ghosh who was with him for entire week in 1958 when he was in Ranchi. Bipin Babu was shocked because he had never been to Ranchi. Earlier he had made a lot of tries of going to that place but actually he was never successful. Bipin Babu thought that instead of him Parimal Ghosh was mistaken with the identity. Yet Bipin Babu did not pay much attention to this man and he kept on selecting the books from the bookshelf. Let's read ahead. What are you saying, Mr. Chaudhary? You had a fallen hoodru and cut your right knee. I brought you iodine. Iodine is a kind of ointment which is put on wounds or hurt. I had fixed up a car for you to go to Netherhart the next day. But you couldn't because of the pain in the knee. Can't you recall anything? Recall means remember. Someone else, you know, was also in Rachi at that time. Mr. Dinesh Mukherjee, you stayed in a bungalow. You said you didn't like hotel food and would prefer to have your meals cooked by a Bavarchi. Bavarchi is a Hindi word which means a cook. Mr. Mukherjee stayed with his sister. You had a big argument about the moon landing, remember? I will tell you more. You always carried a bag with your books in it on your sightseeing trips. Am I right or not? Bipin Babu spoke quietly, his eyes still on the books. Which month in 58 are you talking about? The man said, October. No, sir, said Bipin Babu. I spent puja in 58 with a friend in Kanpur. You're making a mistake. Good day. But the man didn't go, nor did he stop talking. Very strange. One evening I had tea with you in a veranda of your bungalow. You spoke about your family. You said you had no children and that you had lost your wife 10 years ago. Your only brother had died insane. Insane means mentally unstable. Which is why you didn't want to visit the mental hospital in Ranchi. When Bipin Babu had paid for the books and was leaving the shop, the man was still looking at him in utter disbelief. Utter disbelief means complete surprise. Now, as Bipin Babu and Parimal Ghosh were talking to each other, Parimal Ghosh started to give details of Bipin Babu's Ranchi trip. He told Bipin Babu about the fall that he had in Hudru Falls and he had cut his right knee. And it was Parimal Ghosh who had brought ointment to him and fixed up a car for him. Parimal Ghosh also told Bipin Babu that when he was at Ranchi, he had a companion called Mr. Dinesh Mukherjee, but he did not want to stay at a hotel because he never liked the food of a hotel. So he preferred to stay in a bungalow with a Bavarchi and Dinesh Mukherjee shifted to his sister's place. Parimal Ghosh also told Bipin Babu that he remember Bipin Babu always carried a bag of books. And he also remember him telling about his wife who was dead and he had no children. Also, Bipin Babu's brother was insane and he died and which is why he refused to visit a mental hospital in Ranchi. When Parimal Ghosh was telling all these details, Bipin Babu was really confused because he thought if he didn't know this man, how come this man knew all the personal and private details about him. Moreover, Bipin Babu told Parimal Ghosh that in October 1958, he had gone to Kanpur 
to meet his friend so it was very obvious that he could not visit ranchi at that point of time but at last when bipin babu was paying for the books and he was about to leave parimal ghosh was still looking at bipin babu in utter disbelief because parimal ghosh could not understand why and how bipin babu has forgotten that very crucial part of his life of a visit to ranchi that's the end of this part now after this part 1 let's move on to the comprehension check questions which are there in your book let's discuss these questions and answers the first question says why did the man stare at bipin babu in disbelief the answer is that the man stared at bipin babu in utter disbelief because he could not understand how bipin babu had forgotten about him when they had met in ranchi and he knew a great deal about bipin babu's life and relatives question number 2 where did bipin babu say he went in october 58 the answer to this is bipin babu spent puja in 1958 with a friend in kanpur question number 3 says mention any three or more things which parimal ghosh knew about bipin babu the following points can be written in this answer parimal ghosh knew that he had gone to hudru falls where he had a fall and had a cut in his knee bipin babu stayed at a bungalow because he liked the food to be cooked by babarji bipin babu's wife died about 10 years ago more points which can be written here are bipin babu had a brother who died of insanity bipin babu always carried a bag of books whenever he went on sightseeing and bipin babu did not have any children so children let's recap what we read today This was part 1 that we finished and in part 1 we were given a complete detailed explanation about Bipin Babu's personality that he was very shy he had very less friends and he never indulged in idle chat he was fond of reading books and while he was at Kali Charan shop in New Market he observed that someone was watching him closely on interacting with him he came to know other man was parimal ghosh who knew bipin babu when he had been to ranchi but bipin babu was sure that he had never been to ranchi yet parimal ghosh gave every minute detail of bipin babu's ranchi trip parimal ghosh also told bipin babu that when he was at ranchi he had a companion called mr dinesh mukherjee now all these details sounded very new to bipin babu which left him completely confused because bipin babu was sure that parimal ghosh was mistaken and not him and at the end was when bipin babu was ready to leave the shop parimal ghosh kept staring at him in utter disbelief this was the story that we read so far the next part in my next video till then take good care of yourself and goodbye